R is a free programming language. It's an open source language and environment for statistical computing, data mining, modeling, and even data graphics. R is one of the most popular tools for predictive modeling. In a data science salary survey conducted by O'Reilly, R was ranked as second in a category of programming languages for data science. SQL ranked first. So how do companies use R? Well, Facebook uses it for behavior analysis related to status updates and profile pictures. Google uses it for advertising effectiveness and economic forecasting. Twitter uses it for data visualization and semantic clustering. And Uber uses it for statistical analysis. Navigating the workspace. So let's open RStudio and take a look at the workspace. We're looking here at the RStudio interface, which is organized into four panes. The first pane here is your workspace. This is where you're going to import all of your data. The left pane is where you're actually going to be able to see your data sets. The console below is where you're going to be able to type your commands. And to the right, is where you'll see the output of all the visualizations that you create. So let's dive in. Let's start coding in R. What we're going to do is use R as a simple calculator. This goes without saying, but please make sure you have R installed and also RStudio. Now you're going to open up RStudio and navigate to the console window. In the console window, you'll notice a command prompt or a greater than sign. This is where you're going to begin typing some of the commands that I'm going to show you. What I'd like you to do is follow along. We'll begin by just using R as a calculator. So let's type in some simple equations. What's 1 plus 2? You'll see that I typed in 1 plus 2 and the output here is 3. And 2 minus 2, that the output is 0. We used an operator called the minus operator. We'll divide 4 by 3 in this example. And we get an output of 1.3. And let's multiply 3 times 3 and see that the output is 9. This is intended to show you the difference between input and output. Input is what I type into the console window. Output is the result of that equation. Here's a full list of arithmetic operators that we'll be using. I encourage you to practice using these operators. The next step is for you to go through this tutorial and then begin your work on completing the assigned exercises.